In 2013, when the Lexus CT200 Hybrid came out, this was the absolute top, top, top of the range. The sports luxury. In silver with black leather interior and only 33,000 kilometres. Ladies and gentlemen, this is about as good as it gets. And at just under $30,000, we are priced very, very well in the marketplace. The Sports Luxury gets some fantastic features such as the memory chair settings. Um, all of these CT200s have a lot of features such as the electric seats, the leather interior. The seats on this look fantastic with that additional, additional stitching. And you can see it's in the dashboard as well. Leather dash, leather steering wheel and so forth. I'm going to jump inside and start talking to you a little bit about why these cars are so good and just there's a plane coming over so we'll close the door so apart from the fact you've got this push start feature so the car is now actually on and there we go we've got an engine now we've got 33,500 kilometers the pop-up navigation screen which is pretty easy to use you just um, use the mouse down here which is a pretty much just like a computer and then you've got that beautiful navigation screen and so forth um, reversing camera as you can see, mirrors dip as well. We'll put it back into drive. And park is a really cool, just push the button. So a lot of people say, oh, these can be a bit sluggish to drive, but it's not true at all. You see this sport feature here, I'm going to show you this very cool dash. If I stick that into sport, you get red. Push it down, you're back to normal. And eco, you'll see there's a little bit blue around the gear shifter there. But Sport is absolutely brilliant. Now again, a couple of other features here. You've got heated seats, sunroof, which is there. Um, the leather is just perfect in this car. You get a little bit of wood grain as well. The car does have service history. Um, uh, our general manager here at work is the, um, is the owner of this car and he's actually been a mechanic for many years and you'll probably find that most mechanics will say to you either buy a Toyota or a Lexus so this car here is um, is a clear example of the most sensible motor car you could probably buy uh, buy Xenon headlights you've got parking sensors front and rear you've got windscreen washers there on the uh, front end of the car to wash your headlights as the car's driving on the freeway little mark on the alloy wheel which is pretty easy to remove if we had to um, that's pretty common of cars in Sydney these days it does have spare keys and look at the quality of this leather it's just beautiful Incidentally, I'm not, that's going to sound a little bit funny, but it really smells like a Lexus. You get in and it smells like that beautiful leather that hasn't been, you know, ruined and hasn't had a million kids in the back of it and he doesn't have children and it, it, really, is an, it really is an extremely good example. They are a good size, these. They've got a fabulous fold-down hatchback set up. And as you can see, it's got a decent sized bag in there. Nice to see the parcel tray, split-folding rear seats and... Uh, what a beautiful car. So since 2013, four years old, it's only done about 8,000 kilometres a year, which is fantastic. It looks like that the bodywork is unmarked. There's probably a couple of tiny little stone chips or whatnot, but really you're not going to fault this car too much. Um, our business is called the Old Timer Centre. I know this isn't an old timer, but it certainly is a, uh, it is a car which isn't brand new. An old timer has been selling cars for around about Oh, 24 years, 25 years. The Mark Levinson sound system is a fabulous option. You'll see in here he's actually got, down here he's got his little USB, um, which means, you know, you can plug it in there to your little holster and so forth. Uh, tilt the sunroof, open and close the sunroof is really nice. can do it from up there as well. That's another cool little feature. You can put a dog or a cat inside the car and turn the ultrasonic sensors for the alarm off. You've got a auto uh, sensor on the interior mirror there which allows you to um, stop the uh, cars from behind doing the high beam and annoying you dual zone climate control air conditioning multi-function steering wheel with everything you know you've got cruise controls and your mobile phone and bluetooth and you've got your parking sensors and so forth there's the cruise down there uh, the handbrake is a foot brake which is great and uh, it'll even tell you that the alarm system the factory alarm system is on in the car so incidentally, ladies and gentlemen, we actually just sold one of these in an F-Sport, which is a uh, slightly different model. It was one of the cheaper models. We did extremely well. We got in the early 30s and uh, it had done similar sort of kilometres. And this is a sports luxury. So when you're looking for one of these, the sports luxury is the car to buy. It is the, it is the ultimate, the flagship. So we think this is great value for money. So unfortunately, there's not going to be much negotiating on this car. It's got some nice Yokohama tyres. They're in decent condition. We will provide a roadworthy certificate and lots and lots of registration until uh, the middle of next year, 2018. My name's Richard. You can see Philip. We're here on... Pretty much every day except for Sunday. Saturdays we close at 1.30. The address here is 101 to 103 Illawarra Road in Marrickville. 
and the phone number is 956999999. We've got a big showroom that's full of cars. Um, I'm just doing this video outside because the light is better. And we really look forward to seeing you if you want finance, very good interest rates at the moment. Um, you know, we've got mechanics that will inspect the car prior to it leaving, aside from the roadworthy. Very advanced scanning software, which will allow you to see if there's any old fault codes stored in this car. And these batteries, they just go for absolutely ever. The, the, the drive system is designed so that when you put the brakes on, the batteries recharge. So this is the way of the future, ladies and gentlemen. Hybrid motoring uses up around, I think, three or four litres per 100 k's, which is uh, probably really five, I would say. But um, depends on your driving. But massive savings there for uh, not wanting to go to the petrol stations for uh, cars like this which uh, unfortunately will probably cost you three times as much. Thanks again and hooroo, enjoy your uh, day.